Madison could be among the leaders in the country in looking into how psychedelics can treat PTSD in veterans. Well, that's if a bipartisan Wisconsin Senate bill passes to allow researchers to study the effects. Armand Rahman shows us how the conversation around these substances continues to change. Armand? Eric and Charlotte, the bill introduced this week would allow UW-Madison Psychedelic Research Center, which is already researching how psychoactive substances assist in therapy and treatment, to start a pilot program to say how adding psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, may help. We can help give veterans hopefully the relief that they need and get the best quality health care that they can have. The bill was introduced by Democratic Senator Diane Hesselbein of Middleton and Republican Senator Jesse James. We are on the Mental Health Committee together and we you know, care deeply about veterans. He served on the Army years ago. My husband was in the Army and the Air Force years ago. So I think sometimes when it comes to veteran um, bills and opportunities to help veterans, we can definitely have common ground. If passed, it would give the green light to the UW-Madison Psychedelic Research Center. They're already studying psilocybin in the treatment of people battling meth and opioid addiction. It's not like we're replacing one drug of, of abuse with another. We're using these drugs in a therapeutic fashion. Director Paul Hudson says the pilot program would involve dosing veterans with psilocybin who are already undergoing MDMA or ecstasy assisted treatment. That's been FDA approved since 2017 and been shown to help build trust quicker between therapists and patients to approach the trauma that led to PTSD. Now, can we combine psilocybin with that to allow them to uh, experience in a different way the insults that led to the PTSD? to explore other ways that are more positive to be thinking about issues. Hudson says subjects are strictly screened and started off with small doses supervised by two therapists. On a dosing day, they would be typically on this sofa or something like it where they're going to be allowed to put on a mask, listen to some music. Then patients would debrief, and based on that, they may be redosed once or twice more a month later. There are 16 veterans per day in the country that are killing themselves. And if we can help them, then that's a very worthwhile thing to be doing. Currently, Texas, Washington State, and Maryland all have similar pilot programs.